Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in Stevensville, Maryland. I'm at the foot of the Bay Bridge across from Annapolis. Today we're going to have a tour of the Nordhaven 55 Terrapin. Terrapin is a 2007 model year, beautiful green hull. Let's go take a look. I'm up on the foredeck of Terrapin now. I want to point out that it's up in front of the Portuguese bridge, which provides a lot of protection underway. It's also very level. There are three hatches, opening hatches for the guest stateroom below. And I'm up in the anchor well area. The anchor well is also flat with two drains, so mud and water goes straight overboard. We have a large Rockna anchor coming to a Maxwell electric windlass, 400 feet of chain, all easily accessible through the Freeman hatch. You're up high, it's very dry up here. This is really a good boat for going long distances. 55 has a very nicely designed Portuguese bridge deck. There's a docking station outboard for coming into the dock and seeing where you are. Shore power connection forward as well as one aft. Storage lockers built into the Portuguese bridge on both sides. I can come up to the foredeck easily by lifting this pantograph hinge door. Of course, the pilot house windows give you great visibility looking forward. There's a hatch built into the master stateroom overhead that provides air and ventilation and I can go all the way around the deck on either side from the Portuguese bridge. Good storage on the boat deck with the Walker Bay inflatable, outboard on the starboard side, Airtex crane, a short flight of stairs up to the flybridge and another flight of stairs back down to the cockpit. This flybridge has a folding bimini top above. There's bench seating behind, two helm chairs forward, a table for dining or having lunch, all the electronics you need to operate the boat. It's a great place to be underway or when you're at anchor. The Nordon 55 cockpit has ample outdoor space. There are nine steps up to the boat deck. There's an access door to get you onto the swim platform for arriving by dinghy. If you're swimming or diving, there's a swim ladder, cockpit shower here for rinsing off, access obviously right into the salon, and there's also access up to the foredeck and the Portuguese bridge along the starboard side deck. Inside the salon of Terrapin, I have wonderful visibility. There are a lot of seating areas, big table for dining or just relaxing. There are two custom chairs on the starboard side and a flat screen TV that lifts up over there. Of course, this L-shaped settee with deep storage back behind it. There are blinds to make it more private in here. Uh, as you go forward up to the galley, there are some storage lockers and a nice bar counter for sharing meals or talking to the chef while they're preparing meals. This is a very comfortable room with excellent visibility and a very popular place on board for people to gather. Galley on Terrapin is centrally located. Cooking offshore is one of the simple pleasures. It's very easy to prepare wonderful meals in this galley. You have a convection microwave oven, four burner propane stove with an electric oven. There's a dishwasher, trash compactor, double basin sink, sub-zero refrigerator with freezer drawers, pantry storage. You can walk forward into the master stateroom. You can walk down a flight of stairs to the laundry and also get to the engine room, up the stairs to the pilot house. This galley area is very popular. You can prepare wonderful meals here and you can come down to get food, raid the ice box at midnight. Everything you need for your eating pleasure is right here in this galley. Down from the galley is probably the smallest room on the boat, the utility room. The utility room has the clothes washer, the clothes dryer, a top load freezer, extra storage space, and you can also access the active fin stabilizers on the port and starboard side from this room. Nordhaven always makes the engine room a priority on all of their designs and the 55 is no exception. We have a John Deere main engine on center line. It's a dry stack exhaust, keel cooled. Aft on the port side is the Northern Lights generator. On the starboard side is the Lugger wing engine with a V drive. There are bilge pumps, a fire suppression system, fuel manifold system. There's a return here. There's a supply tank here. They use a fiberglass tank for the gravity drain fuel feed. Uh, you have a door that lets you out go into the uh, utility room where there's a washer and dryer. You can tunnel back aft into the lazarette. It's a spectacular engine room, mostly standing headroom, and you can get in and around and service and inspect everything. I love doing engine room checks on a 55 like Terrapin.
Beneath the cockpit is the lazarette. You can get to the lazarette by the hatch, which lifts up with a pneumatic ram, or you can get in from the back end of the engine room. The steering is in the lazarette with two steering rams, uh, including two autopilots. The inverter is back there, the house bank batteries, a fire suppression system, a lot of room for storage. It's a, uh, it's a good storage room. There's a lot of space there. It's a good machinery space that's easy to get around in and work. The pilot house deck has a day head aft and has a cabin, the captain's cabin aft. There's bench seating so you can watch behind the helmsman with a table there, centerline stid helm chair, all the electronics, easy to see, easy to access and touch, electrical breakers on the starboard side, and a stairway that goes down to the guest stateroom and the master stateroom. Terrapin has the classic Nordhaven 55 guest stateroom arrangement. There's a basement with large access right below me on the starboard side of the desk. Forward is a head and a toilet. And then outboard on the port side is a double berth. There's a divider that will separate these two rooms. And then each room at the forward part has a door that goes into the head and shower. Very versatile. Beneath the guest stateroom is the basement area. It's a four chambered sectional area. All the way forward is the bow thruster. The next chamber app has two batteries for the windlass and for the bow thruster. The chamber, the third chamber where I'm standing right now has a ladder that, that lets you come down. There's a workbench that's pretty unique and, and original on this boat, outboard on the port side. And then the furthest aft chamber has the water maker and the hot water heater. The stateroom panels is one of the most distinctive features on Terrapin. This hair shop look with the white panels and the teak trim is used in the master and the guest. Interestingly, all Nordhaven 55s use this same white panel configuration in the utility room board of the engine. So you have an island berth, you have three opening port lights outboard with a nice peak ceiling battened panel. Uh, there's a hatch above me here that uh, provides air and ventilation from the Portuguese bridge. You can go straight back into the master head. There's a tub in that master head, and you have a door that, that lets you come in from the salon galley area, or you can go forward and up to the pilot house. So it's a uh, very centrally located stateroom, further aft, less motion underway, and the whiteness allows for a lot more color splashes throughout with the decor. The master head has a Tecma freshwater toilet. There's also a very large bathtub and you have a granite countertop with a sink basin, medicine cabinet, lockers, drawers, a lot of storage. Thank you for hopping aboard Terrapin with me today. I would love to talk with you more in detail and get you on board. If you'd like to call me, my cell phone number is 949-355-4950. You can text me or call me. You can also send an email to jeff.merrill at jmys.com. Terrapins travel from the Pacific Northwest through the canal, back over to the East Coast. I have the key. Give me a call and let's talk about having this key become yours. Thank you.